Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about infinite storage for gunpowder, spark powder, and any other type of powder, sand, everything you want that you could ever think of in this game. We're going to make sure you guys understand how to make it so you can have as many as you want in one certain thing. Now, we are not using large storage boxes or anything. We are going to be using a chemistry bench or a mortar and pestle. I do want to give a quick props or shout out to Retro for uh, letting us know about this idea and how to do it specifically. So let's go ahead and go ahead and do it. If you guys obviously have an S plus or anything of that nature, this is almost irrelevant or stacking. This is almost relevant to you. However, this is for all those vanilla arc players out there for specifically. So we're going to go ahead and just talk about the Morton Pestle. The idea for these is the exact same. There's no difference between the Mortar and Pestle and the Chemistry Bench. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I apologize for that right there, guys. I had um, a text there. So. What we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and create stuff. So if you guys can see, my storage on this is completely full for this mortar and pestle. What I need to do is I need to craft a bunch of these. And technically, I have enough for 200 spark powder in here because it takes, or 100 spark powder in here because it equals one stone and two flint. And I mean 100, but it's going to be 200 is technically. So I'm going to use up three stacks technically. However, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do a craft amount and I'm going to craft 100 or 98 I apologize so we'll do 98 and hit OK so you're gonna see as these things go up it's gonna tear out one of these obviously it tears out two of the spark powder and you're gonna see we're over the storage limit for the moment it's gonna drop below and then it goes back up I apologize for having to do this long way but unfortunately it's gonna be one of those so I'm going to talk about what's going to happen. So what's going to happen is we're going to push the storage limit to the extreme maximum. But 98 is going to leave us one stone and two flint. That is exactly right. One stone and two flint left in the uh, mortar and pestle. And on top of it, it's going to provide us with more stuff. So this first one we're doing is going to be a little bit slower. And then I'm going to show you guys a faster way of doing it if you wanted to. So, the, as you guys can see, this is eventually just going to keep stacking in, and it, by leaving one uh, flint and leaving, or two flints and leaving one stone, it allows us to continue to stack more stuff inside of it. So, as you know, this is going to continue to go, and this is for early game for you guys, is it's going to be like this. So, we're just going to sit here, we're going to stack all this stuff in here, and it's just going to continue to produce in here, and we can kind of keep it producing non-stop is actually really what it's gonna be but then i'm gonna show you how to make it infinite by using a secondary source to provide it in there and now this method works for any type of thing so you can use this in the chemistry bench where it's gonna push and it's gonna push and it's gonna push and it's gonna keep producing more and more and what i'm gonna do then is i'm gonna add more flint and more stone in here to get it to push over the limit and I'm going to continue adding stone, and you'll see it just keeps going. It keeps getting higher and higher, and you can do it that way. There's also a second method, which I'll show you as soon as this is done, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. But I'm going to show you a little bit, obviously, on this one of how to do the second one. So uh, we should be able to create one more, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and craft one. It should have been 99. I, I thought it was. So you can see we're a little short, but what I can do is because it's not technically over the limit, I can grab a stack of stone and a stack of that, and we can go ahead and craft an amount. We can craft 99 again. So let's go ahead and hit 99 and hit OK. Uh, it's saying I'm only got 50, so you go down one. Uh, I don't know, because uh, I only have enough flint. That's right. My flint's one short. I apologize for that, guys. So I'll do 49. So I'm going to be one short again, but it's going to put it over. And you guys can see our storage is slowly, slowly, slowly increasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of here while this is finishes, and we're going to go ahead and talk about the second part, what you can do here. So I've got my little chemistry bench here, and you guys can see I've got this thing completely stacked out and totally turned on and everything of that nature. However... You don't have to because the chemistry benches are much more important for keeping open because you want to use them and they're a little bit more expensive. So to do this one, all you have to do uh, is we're going to do it to where we take the items out of this and we're going to put them actually into the mortar and pestle. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft all the uh, stuff we can. So you can see we've got tons of spark powder going in and everything no worries it's just crafting them out you guys can see that because it's on the mortar and pestle or on the, the chemistry bench it's 10 times faster and it's going to burn through them really quick you can see our storage is pretty much going to be the exact same number it was when it left technically it's actually going to be a little bit lower but the storage for the, chem the chemistry bench is not what we're talking about here or what we need so we've just crafted ourselves a whole bunch of spark powder in here and what are we supposed to do with ourselves 
Well, what we need to do is we need to put this somewhere else because we want to have room to make gunpowder or or whatever we want to do. So we're gonna take all of this, all this spark powder, all of it. We're gonna take it out of there, and we're gonna actually put it all into this mortar and pestle. That is right, guys. We're gonna put it all into one mortar and pestle. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Okay, I'm going to slap that in there, and I'm going to put a little bit more stone in here. It doesn't really make a difference if you've got all of it in here or not, okay? And then I'm going to craft, literally, uh, we're going to craft three, uh, actually, of these. But I'm just going to go ahead and do them one by one. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll craft one. So that maxes this one out, okay? So we are at 14 storage. So if I craft one more, it gets the 15, and then all I hit is T. And I can max that one out. Craft one more. Transfer. Craft one more. Transfer, transfer, transfer. And if you guys can see, I am slowly increasing. Look at look at this quantity right here. We're at 18. Craft one more. Craft one more. And it just keeps going up. And all you got to do is put all your spark powder into one spot. And literally, you no longer have to have a storage chest, a giant building, or anything of that nature just for your gunpowder and your spark powder. You can literally hide it all in a mortar and pestle if you want to. Or you can hide it in a chemistry bench if you really want to. Chemistry benches have more health. However, this place is just a little bit easier in my book because we don't have to worry about uh, people. If they are going to take it, they're going to take it. And I'd rather have the chemistry benches, as I said, open to craft the materials and this be more for hanging out and storing materials. So that means you could put a bunch of mortars and pestles right in front of your chemistry bench. And then all you have to do is sit here and exactly as you guys see I'm doing, you guys can place your gunpowder in one. You could have spark powder in the other one. You could have cementing paste in the other one. You guys could have to do it first. Clay on scorched earth. You could do propellant. You could put whatever you want in here and that includes... Any idea you guys come up with that can fit in here, that you can craft in a mortar and pestle, and that's the key. It has to be craftable in the mortar and pestle, because you guys can see I'm keeping this flint and keeping the stone, whatever one you have. So if it's cementing paste, you have to keep chitin and stone in here, and you have to put it in and keep it, make sure it does not drop to zero. If either one of these drop to zero, you can no longer do this, and you're going to have to start over and getting stuff in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put all these materials in here, guys, so you guys can see this once it's done, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how high I can get this just from just specifically one. So you could have over a thousand of one thing in a spot. It doesn't make a difference. You guys can see I am just completely cranking these out here, and it makes life so much easier because then it's all in one spot. It's all right in front of the chemistry bench. It takes up less room. You're not running it all over the base, and it's all in one spot, and as you can see, it's very, very simple to do. All you have to do is make sure that you keep these two things right here. So it, it depends which one it is. So it could be spark powder and charcoal. If you're talking about gunpowder for clay, it's gonna be sand and cactus sap. You must keep them above one, but it allows you to keep stuff going. As you guys can see, I am just literally putting all the spending paste in here. Does it take a little bit longer to put away? Yes, it does take a little bit longer to put away, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about doing anything else. So technically what you can do, just as a method, so I could sit here and click a bunch of these, right? I could just tap, 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 and get 10 of these in here and just transfer, 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 and just keep hitting T, and I could just transfer, and as they come in, they'll keep going. So that's the other method you have, and then what you do is you just go ahead, grab your spark, your flint, throw it back in there, grab some of my stone, throw it back in there, and just go ahead and craft. You can craft uh, an amount. We'll just go up to, technically you could type in 100 on this one. It's going to say you can't do that. So we'll try to do that. We'll go 50, drop down by 1, hit 49, start creating them, and just start tapping T. And wait for it to craft, and then you guys can see, while I'm doing this, you can see that number going up 55, 56, out of 12. So this is supposed to only hold 12, and you guys can see it's going to keep going. And then what I can do is cancel the queue as soon as it's done. So I can just sit here and transfer, transfer, transfer. I just want to show you guys the many different methods to get all these in here. This is probably the fastest method you have, which is just to sit here and click until it's done. So... I got one more, and that's it. And we'll just stop. And it's going to clear the queue, and look at this. Look how much spark powder we have in one tiny little mortar and pestle. And then just to make sure, as I, you know, you don't want to leave it overdone, just always make sure you stick all of it in here. However, if you've got a tribe, make sure everyone on the tribe understands how to do this method because you could have people take it out. And as long as you guys don't transfer these out, you're totally fine. So you can just keep stacking spark powder after spark powder after spark powder in here. So this works for cementing paste, spark powder. It works for clay, it works for gunpowder, it works for technically preserving salt, propellant. So you guys can see we can go into the drugs, that means narcotics you can do in here. You can do stimulant, you can do bug repellent, you can do antidotes, you can do whatever you want. So technically you could just create a small little section right here 
you could just put a couple porter and pretzels just drop them right here in front and you could have your little storage and you can't name these obviously so you'll have to figure out a method but you can just place them right in front or wrap them around and then you can literally do everything out of the chemistry bench into these little mortars and pestles and then everything's stored in there and your chemistry bench is always empty and ready to run so guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I know this was a very quick, quick episode, but I wanted to kind of give this out here because I thought, I thought it was a really cool idea, and I really wanted to show everyone how to do it. Technically, you can hide your mortars and pestles. Uh, you can hide them into uh, pillars, but you have to have them sticking out, so as long as you see them, if you're not building in stone anymore, it's really not worth it because if you build in metal or tech, it doesn't cover the parts of the mortar and pestle, so it's extremely easy to see. So my feeling is, is you should always make sure you do it. Um, also, I want to note that technically you can have one mortar and pestle and hide everything in it as long as you put the ingredients for everything in the one spot and you just keep being able to craft it. So if you wanted to put, uh, just for example, if you want to have uh, cementing paste in there or gunpowder, as long as you keep one of every resource in there that is made to craft the previous resource you can continue to do it so if i put shit in here and i put charcoal in here and as long as i kept those four with the spark one stack of spark powder in here i could always make sure that i have everything i need so as long as you've got flint stone spark powder uh charcoal and shit or keratin in here is one stack of each you could technically store everything into one mortar and pestle if you wanted to or if you're over organized you want to be able to take everything out you can do that too because sometimes people like to have it where they can just take everything out the only thing I would say is it might be nice to keep the charcoal, but as I said, you're going to be doing most of your crafting inside the chemistry bench, so if you're going to be crafting for gunpowder or anything, it might be easier to take the spark pot out, put it into there, and then dump the charcoal or dump the gunpowder back into one. But that's going to be it though, guys. As I said, these are multiple different methods, and I just wanted to show you guys what you guys can do to create tons and tons and tons and tons of storage for your uh, for for your mortars and pestles or even you can technically do them in chemistry benches if you want to you could have a line of chemistry benches right here and use the exact same method with your chemistry benches the only thing i would suggest is you have larger numbers of flint and everything in here so uh what i would suggest you doing is having you know maybe like 10 rows of 10 stacks of flint and like five stacks of stone in here so that when you're making it because you're going to be crafting it in there anyhow that you can just burn it up but as i said it's hard to do it this way because you're just always wanting to craft mass numbers out of the chemistry bench and this can knock down your chemistry bench to only needing really one or two of them and then everything else is stored in the mortar and pestle and you can just throw it in there and not have to worry about it so as i said that's gonna do it for this episode guys i apologize for the more talking nature of this one but it's a, it's a really cool method and i thought it was really nice uh, to share out there and everything and show everyone that there is a way to store everything in one little box if you wanted to instead of having all these chests and stuff out here to store spark powder and stuff and you can just have them sitting on these little chemistry or little uh, mortars and pestles and you can just have a bunch of them around here so that's gonna do it for this episode guys subscribe or like to the channel if you're new to the channel if not, go ahead, drop a comment down below, guys. Let us know what else you see. If you guys got any videos or any information you guys want to share and see it getting out there, just let us know. We'll go ahead and post it. No big deals. Uh, and, and, and I hope you guys are enjoying everything that's coming out with and you're enjoying the content that's coming out. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Everyone have a fantastic day.